Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to continue talking about U substitution for indefinite integrals. In the last video, we talked about the big idea of U substitution, a technique we can use to solve an integral in the form of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. This lets us reverse the chain rule and find the original function, f of g of x plus c. In the last video, we learned a method for how to use U substitution. And in this video, we're going to learn a second method. And here's how it works. We'll let u equal the inner function. Then we'll find du dx and solve for dx. Then we'll make substitutions to get the integral in terms of u only. And finally, we'll solve the integral. Let's do some example problems to see how this works. Here's example one. We're going to solve this integral using this new u substitution technique. So here we have the function, the quantity of x cubed plus 2x to the third power times the quantity of 6x squared plus 4. We can see that x cubed plus 2x is an inner function. So let's let u equal x cubed plus 2x. Then we'll find du dx, which is 3x squared plus 2. Now let's solve for dx. That gives us dx equals du over 3x squared plus 2. Now let's make substitutions to get the integral in terms of u only. Note that I've substituted u for x cubed plus 2x, and I've also substituted du over 3x squared plus 2 for dx. Now our goal is to get this integral in terms of u only. So if we factor out a 2 from the 6x squared plus 4, that'll leave us with 3x squared plus 2 in the numerator, and this will cancel with the denominator. Then we're left with the integral of 2u cubed du, which is in terms of u only. Now we can solve, and we get 2u to the fourth over 4 plus c. And since we know that u equals x cubed plus 2x, we can substitute that back into our solution, and we get the quantity of x cubed plus 2x to the fourth over 2 plus c. And that's the final solution. Let's do another example. Here we have the integral of 27x times e to the 3x squared dx. So let's solve this with u substitution. Here we'll let u equal 3x squared. Then we'll find du dx, which is 6x. Then we'll solve for dx, which is du over 6x. Now let's make substitutions so that we can get the integral in terms of u only. We'll substitute u for 3x squared and du over 6x for dx. Now we can cancel out the x's and we're left with the integral of 27 over 6 times e to the u du. Now we can solve and we get 27 over 6 e to the u plus c. Now let's get our solution back in terms of x. So in place of u, we'll write 3x squared. So our final solution is 27 over 6 e to the 3x squared plus c. Let's check to make sure this solution works. If we take the derivative of 27 over 6 e to the 3x squared plus c, we get 27x times e to the 3x squared, which is the original integrand. So we know this solution is correct. Okay, let's do one more example. The integral of x cubed times sine of 3x squared dx. If we follow the steps of our new u substitution method, we get this, u equals 3x squared, the inner function, du dx equals 6x, and dx equals du over 6x. All looks good so far. But now what we need to do is try to get the integral in terms of u only. When we try to do this, we get x cubed sine u times du over 6x. After canceling the x in the denominator, we're left with x squared over 6 times sine u du. This means there's no way to get this integral in terms of u only. So, spoiler alert, we cannot use u substitution to solve this integral. The original integral is not in the form of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. Therefore, we cannot use u substitution. I wanted to show you this example to make you aware that some integrals look like they might be able to be solved with u substitution, but in reality, they can't. And sometimes you might not know that u substitution doesn't work until you've tried, and that's okay. Integrals are like puzzles, and u substitution is one of many techniques that you'll learn to help solve them. And that's how you rock calculus! Yeah.